Hey YouTube, what's going on? Hey YouTube, what's going on? How you doing man? Well, the weather is really nice and then I get creative, you know, then I'm like, hey, I have to do something. And yesterday I bought this Toshiba, this Toshiba Tektra S2. I bought it for 25 bucks, yo. It was on Marketplace. <laughs> Here's the advertising, this here. And I also actually get it for the 25 euros that the guy wanted for it. Because uh, the thing had no hard drive. And he gave me the hard drive bay. But he forgot to give me the little black um, uh, extension that goes on the hard drive, you know, that goes on the pins and then connect with a, with a total different connection. So it's not like you just put the hard drive in, into the thing and then you can like use it. So that was like a pity. When I came home, I saw that I was like, damn, but you know, I have all these old laptops and all these, you know, things that I have spare parts from the couple of last years and I still had these aces lying around the thing is not going on anymore I was like yeah so I just removed it and put it in here and I got uh, a 40 hard uh, 40 gigabyte hard drive in this thing it's an amazing machine I don't know if you guys know this machine is the uh, Toshiba Tektra S2 yeah it looks it looks a little bit uh, yeah what can I say but the thing has all sorts of connections eh? the thing has three usb ports it has a vga out it has uh, of course sound out it has wi-fi built in huh it has um what is this it has firewire this thing has firewire man and here you can put in a pc card the thing has an sd card reader and it even has a printer port. It's unbelievable. And it has a, a S video out. This 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 laptop. Oh yes. And at the back here, of course, a modem and and um, LAN. So this laptop, my friends, when when I bought it, you know, I'm gonna tell you the truth how it was. I promise a friend a girlfriend of mine i promised her a laptop she has no nothing and she's now using the little rica tech you, you you know it i have a video somewhere in the list she's using that one now but that machine is not really what you know she can't really type on it it's too small and you know i was like don't worry i'm gonna find me another laptop for you so i saw this laptop i checked the specifications and i was like i if i can get a hard drive in this thing i can get i can make it a great laptop you know so I just went and picked it up and then after the disappointment but then again another surprise that I still had the, the little extension I got the thing to run and it's running Windows 7 now and I'm gonna make a Windows 9 concept machine of this thing eh? I also needed a machine for that for the Windows 9 concept because <laughs> the girl she, she's not gonna get this machine anymore because I need it for testing. It has some great hard, hardware inside, and and you don't know, uh, maybe, but this is a machine that runs Windows 7 perfectly, and I'm running a light version of Windows 7, and so it's really, really good. Anyway, I did some cleaning yesterday with Bumper Black. You know what's Bumper Black? With Bumper Black, you can clean your laptop. It's for the, it's for the wheels and the bumpers of your car. You can use it on any color. You can use it on everything, but. The problem is when you use this, um, everything will get really, you know, clean and it will be really smooth as ice, you know, uh, so smooth that with this uh, video, in this video, we also gonna do some painting. You see, I remove it; it's still on, it's still running, just fine. Battery is, uh, battery life is also still okay of this thing. So, you know, I'm like, I don't like how it looks, the top. As you can see, there's a big scratch here, man. Ah, that really looks bad. So I was like, let's paint the baby. Let's do some painting. And to show you, to show you how smooth the 
upper layer became because of this. I'm trying to glue something on here and as you can see it's not staying. So we'll have to do something about that. We'll have to um, because we want to paint this thing and I have an idea how to do it. It's really easy and I would like to share that with you. And um, what I'm gonna use for this is some steel wool that I make wet. Hope you can see it a bit. I will be careful with this because the Toshiba we will soon and as you can see what we're doing now we're removing the upper layer don't don't press it too hard and don't go over the label because we just want the upper layer to to get really clean enough so we can give her some primer and then paint her because you need to give her some primer as well eh? otherwise the paint won't stay alrighty then welcome back I have no turpentine you know but I have glass X and it's written on here it says uh, marked fat rest and loss from her upper plug so when the day set and gave the abrupt and straight lows a glance. Alright, what it's saying is that it loosened up fat and stains on glass. That means, you know, that it also removed that stuff, the fat. On everything because it has this um, this stuff in it that was made to do that so it doesn't matter if you do it on glass or you do it uh, on plastic it will remove that fat and that is what we want we don't want no slippery fat oily greasy we want it to be just good so we can give it some primer okay the baby is still on as you can see she's really doing a good job eh? oh look at the battery the battery is still for 45 percent full let's turn her off because we're gonna paint her now no we will not paint her while playing music this is not some contest this is, you know, how to make your laptop look good again with some simple tools. Make sure that uh, that you use the classics everywhere that you think that other stuff might have been that we used to clean the laptop in the first place when we bought her because yesterday when I got home this baby was looking awful man she was dirty and you know the guy uh, had many other laptops also had three big dogs man came in the house I was like what the f hell is that man what are these big dogs doing here okay let's not talk about the guy he was a nice guy he sold me this laptop and I really like the the laptop I'm really happy with it I think it's beautiful to have in my collection but it will be also usable in my collection so this will not be a laptop that will just sit there and get dust or wait for somebody to give it to or maybe sell it to or trade it for whatever but I'm not planning to do that with this laptop I want to keep this laptop myself that's why I'm gonna make a really nice laptop of this thing so this is finished feels pretty good so now I'm gonna show you the tools that we need to um, to get this baby painted 
Welcome back. What we need is of course the color that you want to paint it. And we need primer. Primer will, you know, uh, put a first coating so the real paint will be much nicer on it. Also, if there are like small scratches and so, you know, the primer will try to cover them up. So we're gonna give it two coats of primer and then we're gonna let it dry, you know, really good before we're gonna add this paint. Also, the temperature is very important. If you're doing this while it's, you're in a cold country, let's say outside it's like cold, you know, you need the coat, then the paint will also be cold. Then you must put the paint in hot water or warm water, not cooking water, just warm water. Put it for, you know, for a while in warm water. So when you pick it up, it's really warm. But when you shake it for two, five, two to three, four, five minutes, you know, it's good shaking, then you know, the spray paint will also go good. Also try to spray paint in a not too cold uh, and windy place. Do it outside and also wear glasses because this is very bad for your eyes. You can get blind. If this comes into your eyes in the wrong way, it cannot be removed. This is real bad stuff. Primer is very, very, also for your lungs and for everything, you must be careful. Don't, don't do stupid things, okay? So, now we must look at how to cover the other parts, eh? Because how are we gonna cover the other parts? Let's take a look at that. Well, I always do it in a really simple way. What I do most of the times is I just take a box. Like this. So we have some pieces. do this outside but because it will make some mess and then again I'm the one that will have to clean that mess so I don't worry Okay, there we are again. So now we have uh, a part for this here. Now we have a part to at least protect this. It's not really big enough, huh? also need to cover it up from the sides because we don't want no paint to come up there like this see let me take some tape can freely paint this. We will also get to the sides, but here at the back we must also cover because we don't want the black to become red. The black must stay black. Put it 
really good so you don't see black you just push it in with your nails this is the C700 so if you're doing the same laptop you should be able to do the same things as I do push it to the corners push it in with your nail because we don't want no red up there also make sure about this little corner here still a little a little spot up there a little black spot and just take care of that but that will not be the hardest thing here still have a little black spot just put it in like this Take this really nice, we'll just take the place of the bend. Squeeze it in, push it in with your nails, use a knife, whatever, cover up the black so you don't see the black anymore. Like this. Hey baby, that's it. See that? There we are, my friend. So, now we're gonna do some spray paint. Well, that's it. Now it really need to dry. Make sure you get the sides also very well. Eh? So this is it. This is much. This is more than enough. Now you must let it dry. Okay, we now painted the laptop with primer, and now we must let it dry really good. I put it on a place where it will not get dust or that will fly on it and will stuck onto it so put it in a nice 
a place somewhere at the house you know and let it dry for at least one hour really important is that you will not try to do this in one time that's really important Try to do it in one time, please. You will screw it. This needs to dry now. Make sure you got all the we will put her back in the house just to let her dry a bit and then we will give her a second coat and then a third coat and then a fourth coat and then a fifth coat no I'm just kidding but we also gonna give her after the third coat we're gonna give her some uh, glossy glossy paint that will make her shine and that will you know protect the paint also for scratches and things like that Because we first started with the primer and we let that dry real good, you know, the finishing touch of this will be almost like it was done professionally, you know, that while this is just an amateur, I mean like anyone can do this, it will not get 100% perfect, but it will look much better than it was. <laughs> and you will be the only one with the red Toshiba Tetra. Before I go in for the second round, you must feel. And you see, it feels all dry now, so we can go for a second round. Let's go do it. Here we go. That's it. More than enough. Now 
Bob, let the baby dry. Let her dry. Look at that baby. She's starting to get the glossy. You see that at the sides here? It's already getting the glossy, but we're not gonna put too much paint on it. We do it layer by layer. Also the sides we did very nice. It's unbelievable how fast this paint dries up. Eh? I'll let it dry just five more minutes, then after a cup of coffee, then we're gonna continue with the final coatings. Okay, we're going for the final coatings. Because we kept it inside the place. Looks really good. Hey! Alles good? Yeah. I call the telephone. I call the telephone. Was that the yaw? Okay, ready? There we go. That's it. Now we must let it dry. We get it out of here. Look, she looks beautiful. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable how fast she dries. So we're gonna get the one more coat really fast. The last one, I think. And I give her, I think, the final coat. But I'm not sure yet. I really sprayed it in one time, eh? When you spray, you must... Don't try to do... Pst, 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 pst. You know, I used to do it before that way, but... A professional painter told me that when you spray paint, you must not let go of the, you know, you must without stopping and then you get a very nice finishing touch. I will try to show it to you. It looks beautiful, very, very beautiful, very, very beautiful. And we're putting it inside so there will be no dust falling on it and I give it the final coat I also did the sides and I'm really gonna leave it like this now and now I'm just gonna let it dry really good so this coming hour we will not touch it anymore just leave it for that for the just leave it there for the next hour just let it dry really good and if you are creative you could also make a yellow ribbon here and green then you have a rasta laptop okay troopers now you will see that there's always a little bit of dust that will come on the baby what you need 
is one of these cloths. They call it micro facial cloth. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna polish the baby now. You're like we just painted the thing. Yes, we're gonna polish off these little things. Just gonna polish it off. Make sure you don't scratch it. Make sure you use a new cloth. Not the cloth that you've been using with other things. And you see no red coming off. You see that? She looks beautiful. So what we can do now is give it some glossy, but we could also we could also go with a very thin uh, how you call it? Uh, I wouldn't do that. She looks nice and smooth, and most of the little holes that you will see. Things, there's nothing on top of it. And nothing you can do about that, you know, because we are painting outside. So in fact, after the paint is dry really good, you need to polish it and to remove all the little things. That's why you must give it enough layers. You must give it enough layers, otherwise. Will not be uh, thick enough to to handle the polish. I think we're gonna give her a final coat, a final coat, and then she's done. Let's go do it. Be right back. I did not count, but I gifted several layers. Eh? The can is almost empty. The can that was full. There's still like something like this in it. So now we're gonna let it dry really good and make sure no dust come on it. You don't have to put it in the sun, just put it on a place where they go, there comes no dust on it. A dust and little piece of thingies will kill your work. Okay YouTube, well, I must say she's dry and there are no crazy bumps or crazy things that I see up here. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna give it the final glossy um, copper. give it the final glossy color and we must just spray we must just spray that we will not get any kind of rubbish into the thingy so this will be the final coating and we're gonna do that together. Here we go. This side.
Now this should do it. Always let it dry really good. Dust can come up. And now we're gonna let it dry really good. Okay, she's dry again. She looks amazingly good, huh? But we're gonna give it one more glossy coat. You know? Okay, there you go. I give her one more coating. And you can see that she really starts to shine now. Huh? Oh boy. I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna give her one more final coating. Look at how she shines. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, another hour later, the glossy dried. But you hear? Where you hear shh means there needs glossy. Okay, guys, this is the result. Ladies, boys, and girls, this is the result. As you can see, very beautiful. Also, the inside, the red stripe, the back looking very 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 nice it's also very smooth no uh, ribbles or so or whatsoever <laughs> yeah I think it looks much better up here I leaked just a little bit but that is very easy to clean with uh, the steel uh, steel wool just wet it up a little bit and you know you can then clean the black just a little bit no big deal this laptop looked really awful when I bought it. I bought it for 25 bucks. So I think it was a great project, uh, worth it uh, to, uh, yeah, to to try. And even if I would screw it up, you know, it wouldn't hurt too much. The thing had no hard drive. Put the hard drive in it. She's running Windows 7. Uh, the thing has a gigabyte eternal memory. Um, I can tell you that the Toshiba Tektra. It's a very good laptop. I'm gonna use it uh, to uh, create my Windows 9 concept. And I already started, as you can see, <laughs> at least uh, the background. <laughs> now, I must say this is a real nice uh, laptop and I would advise you, if you want to do this yourself, you can do it. Alrighty folks, that was it. This is how to uh, spray paint your laptop and create a great uh, laptop from an ugly looking laptop till my next video hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it rate it thumbs up and uh, let me know if you also gonna spray paint your laptop thank you for watching and till my next video